increase in uh, machine utilization up to 80 to 85 percent. Located in Schofield, Wisconsin, Norland started business in 1964 and now employs 96 people. New jobs make up 50% of work, repeat jobs 40%, and revision changes populate 10%. Lot sizes range from 1 to 500 and average from 10 to 25. Norlin produces products to serve industries such as furniture, fire and security, motorcycle, and agriculture. The VP of Operations speaks about Norlin's past issues. We're faced with similar uh, issues that um, businesses like ours, the, the rising cost of labor, the inability to find sufficient technical labor, and of course the poor return on investments associated with standalone processing. Norland's technical manager further explains issues experienced in engineering and blanking and how they were addressed. Customer supply drawings were used to create the individual parts. These drawings were extremely hard to decipher and oftentimes led to a lot of guesswork. When a good part was finally achieved, many times that was unrepeatable the next time the part came through our process. During our blinking process, we would accumulate an excessive amount of idle time. Tool changes, breaking micro joints, backing parts, deburring, corner notching, unloading the skeletons, and loading new material. Another issue that we had was static nesting. Over 95% of the parts that we did were statically nested. This caused an excessive amount of work in process as well as remnants. Through the suggestions that we got from Amada's VPSS process, we purchased an email K 3610NT punch laser combo machine and uh, teamed it up with a TK single part picking machine. Uh, we integrated that with a FO3015 NT and integrated both of those with the Mars material handling system. We were able to increase our capacity by 40% while eliminating four previous work centers. Utilizing Sheetworks and Dr. A Blank, we have been able to take a customer supplied 3D model directly into Sheetworks, which creates our individual prints as well as our 2D files for programming and our BMF files for programming or bending machines. Once the BMF files have been created, they are stored in the SDD server. At the end of the day, we go through the programs that were created and make any necessary changes. Dynamic nesting has allowed us to improve our sheet utilization by 46%. This has resulted in a $50,000 per month material savings. Previously we had six operators running the blanking centers and two running the brake presses. Currently we utilize just two operators that spend 95% of their time at a brake press. The other 5% of their time is spent at the blanking center. With use of a factory management tool to quantify their green light on time, Norland has seen improvement from 40% green light on time to better than 85%. Well, V-Factory allows myself the ability to measure the effectiveness of our operations. We can populate data, drive uptime numbers, and really what I use it for in my staff is understand what the downtimes are so we can drive continuous improvement activities from them.
As Norlin grows and their business continues to evolve and change, they continue to challenge Amada and to engineer automated solutions. Since 2007, Norlin has added a second EMLK punch and laser combination machine and an LCF1 high-speed laser with part separator. This new means of part separation was the solution to the problem of removing large, heavy and awkward parts from the laser bed. Due to the additional blanking capacity, three HDS press brakes were added. As Norlin grows and their business continues to evolve and change, they continue to challenge Amada to engineer automated solutions. We engaged on a very significant transformation, liquidating older, outdated, standalone machines and invested in technology that isn't necessarily readily available locally. Amada provided service group both locally and internationally to support our vision. I'm very passionate about this in industry and I believe that innovating and leading industry and taking good calculated risk is what's going to make you a survivor. Collaborating with an organization like Amada provides that avenue of successfulness for us.